Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a marvelous weekend. All right, hope you're all doing well. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the channel here. Hello to everyone in the chat. Please be mindful, this, these are general messages for Virgos. And as always, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest, okay? Um, all right, Virgo. Let's, we're going to start with a general. I want to see what the general energies are for the month of June for you. And then after that, we'll get into a love reading. Okay. So what are the messages for Virgo for the month of June 2022? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. General messages for Virgo. Okay. We've got, ooh, the unicorn. Good fortune and friendship coming towards you. Okay. Um, so this might be some money. <laughs> Fortune always represents money. So yeah, there's an energy here of um, a turning point as far as your finances, perhaps. Um, maybe if you're gambling or you're investing things uh, or some, some financial investment you're going to make, things will start turning in your favor for you in the month of June. And just overall good luck and friends making some friends or connecting with a good friend so this is a uniqueness with the unicorn i always feel like unicorn unique um <laughs> there's just something here happening that i feel like this is a situation that either you've never encountered before a person place or a thing it's a it's very unique to you Okay, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity, I feel, coming some of some sort. And so it could be in the way of a friendship, making a new friend, or reconciling with a friend from your past. Um, if there was an argument or some kind of separation, then it's like, wow, coming out of the blue. Okay. Um, and especially, I believe June 2nd is the end, June 2nd or 3rd is the end of Mercury retrograde, so Mercury will go direct. So I'm hearing things will be back on, okay? Some of you might have already been experiencing this and having this happening to you. All right, you also have the dagger, conflict and danger lie in wait. You have the moon, you will be guided through this darkness, and you have water, emotions are at their peak. Okay, so a little bit of struggle for sure at this time, but you know what, Virgo? It feels like um, you might you might be in this position where you're fear-based or you're worrying about something happening um, or not happening. Um, it's kind of like being on the edge of the cliff and either or trying to keep your balance, keep yourself from falling into the abyss or keep yourself from being pushed into the abyss. And this is not literally, this is figuratively. Um, you know, but it feels to me like you're, it's an emotional time. This, this feels like a very emotional time coming before you. Um, and that moon, it feels like a dark emotional time. It, it's a sense of like, I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. I, I'm, I'm worried. That's what I'm feeling. Your energy is like you're, you're worried. You're not sure if something's going to go follow through with your plans or whatever it is in your life that's going on or could be coming up for you in June. It's like this amazing opportunity is fa is falling at your feet, and it's, it's not like it's. It's like a pre-opportunity. That's how I feel. It's like something's coming to the forefront, an option or something's being presented to you that's like a, an amazing opportunity. But it feels like you, you, have, you can't grab it right away. You have to wait. There's some tests or some things that have to be finalized before it's officially yours. That's what I'm hearing. So if that's in regard to like a friendship, maybe there's some work that needs to be done in some friendship or something with like an investment, say for example, you're offered like um, a loan of some sort, but you have to go through this process until it's finalized. So I feel like, I do feel like it's gonna work out for you. It'll, you know, a turning point in your favor, but I do feel like your emotions are like, whoa, 
you know um and the moon being guided through this dark time so have faith through this and i always like to say rather than asking for things i always like to say ask for patience and endurance um ask for rather than to receive a, a particular thing um just to receive the guidance and the blessings to to endure whatever the outcome is going to be to be able to work through it okay not work around it not work under it not you know to grow through it rather than just to go f go through it okay um and i feel like the moon represents you know that guiding light okay through a dark period so when there's a lot of unknowns there could be showing up or you could be feeling them right now um it's part of the process and to just accept that and that i feel like um something's going to pan out for you here okay let me just look and see if i can get more clarity on what that might be this good fortune that could be coming in for you what is this good fortune for virgo because i like i said with the dagger there's a little bit of conflict and and the danger part it's it's just it's just um they're saying it's like a, just an element of being fear-based okay what if things don't go through or or there's some conflicts there will be some things that you're going to have to overcome in order to get to the end of the tunnel there the light at the end of the tunnel but again i feel like it's going to happen for you now let me see here so you've got size okay oh Okay, so this could have something to do for some of you with friends or siblings or other people, okay? And this is one particular message where you're feeling kind of left out in the cold um, or you're not able to attend something or do something with some some friends or um, there's, there's just an element here where I feel like there's, you know, there's you and in this position that you're in kind of like by yourself and then there's other people, okay? And they're all having a good time and they're enjoying whatever they're doing in their life. And you're kind of like ho-hum here, okay? Um, now, as I was saying, good friend as well. I feel like, okay, they're saying, if these are some people who haven't been recognizing your worth or your value, or you know, just your the environment, people who are external to you, I feel like that's going to turn around, okay? And they're, these people, whoever they are, um, whether it's like a mortgage company or your family, um, whoever these people are, I feel like there, there's going to be like this turning point with this, like wow, okay, we do see some, we see value here with Virgo, like we. Uh, shouldn't or, or if people were taking advantage of you in some way okay you also have a house and i just said mortgage company <laughs> i swear spirit just talks to me um so for some of you this could have something to do with buying a house or or, or some property or investing in um and or attaining an asset of some sort so i i get a sense like some of you there maybe some of you might just not have a hard time believing it or feeling like you really even deserve to, to have this but you do um your your negative thinking might be blocking your um your hope about this and i know some of you are just trying to be realistic if this is your situation but i also feel like it's okay to have a little bit of hope and understand that there is value there with you okay um and I see celebration. And with, with house, I mean, come on. It, 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 it's a strong message for a lot of you. If you're thinking of moving or if you're just trying to get a rebate back on a property or if you are renting something out or becoming a landlord, you know, um, or, or renting a place yourself or um, trying, maybe you work in real estate or in sales, you know, and, and it's kind of tough you know or you've got everybody else is doing well and you're like what the heck you know or you're trying to get on your feet or, or sort things out for yourself okay so i see celebration here joyfulness with the three people here which it can be very similar to the three of cups okay like um 
like a circle of support, friendship, people having your back, even though you may not feel like things are going in your favor, they will be, okay? They definitely will be. What else can they tell me? I'm just, I have to ask, what else could this have to do with? Oh, so it's definitely gonna be cause for celebration. Okay, you also have a dog. Hmm. Okay, for some of you, this could have something to do with adopting a pet or maybe you have to um, pass your, your pet on to somebody else, do maybe to a move or whatever whatever's going on for any various reason and feeling like, oh, where am I going to, who am I, who can I trust to give my pet to? That kind of energy could be playing out. Again, it's the same, it, the message is still the same. So I'm just asking for clarity on what these things might, what these changes might be. Maybe you're trying to sell a home as well and you might be stressing you're not going to get any buyers, but I feel like you will. Somebody's unique, like a unicorn is going to come out of the blue and make an offer or vice versa. Okay. So you have hope. Yeah, there you go. And I was just talking about hope, getting your hope back. All right. So stay in some type of positive energy. It's not, don't stay in false hope. Be realistic, of course, but be hopeful. Um, for whatever moves that you're making in the month of June, um, even though your emotions might be at like an all-time high at this time, you have people supporting you. You do have friends and other people who are, you know, going to be taking a look at things and, and seeing that this is something that's worthy. It's not, not so much that you are worthy because you really don't need that validation. It's nice to hear, but I mean, you're worthy no matter what. That's how I feel. So... I just feel like um, whatever this thing is that you are either already planning to do or you're thinking about doing, um, it's going to work out for you, okay? So that's really just a June message. Now let's take a look. That's for general. Let's take a look and see what love is. You've got Cupid's arrows, okay? Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. And there's a little bit of hesitation, okay? so. You're definitely going to be getting some messages, some good news coming to you in the in the love department. Um, Cupid's hour, Cupid's arrow strikes. Um, this could have something to do like these love arrow arrows tend to travel at some kind of distance. So it could for some of you, it could have something to do with a distance situation. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay, dragonfly. Ooh, in flight. Okay, be lighthearted, finding something out. Good things are coming to light. Adapting, changing, and healing. Beautiful energy. Okay, so, hmm, taking off, transformation. And it's not just going from the cocoon, you know, to a butterfly. I mean, I don't know where dragonflies, are they in cocoons? I don't know, really. <laughs> I don't really have a, a base knowledge of insects, but um, th this is like taking off beautifully, taking flight beautifully. So either, you know, you could be sending messages to somebody or somebody sending messages to you. Whatever this Cupid's arrow thing is that's going on here, it's something that will be taking flight, either symbolically or literally. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. And the runner. Wow, this is movement. Okay, so this runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay, but I didn't take it like that. In context with the other cards and the messages that I'm receiving is that there's movement here. These are all movement cards. Dragonflies fly. Cupid's arrows fly. The runner is movement. Okay, this is like a male. Maybe somebody works they're like a post. They were going to post office or a postman or post female, post woman, whatever, male carrier, whatever it is. Um, could be somebody that does that, but I'm also picking up, um, you know, if I have to run, if I have to fly, if I have to drive, that's, I'm going to do whatever it takes to go in that direction. Okay. This could be somebody who was previously in a codependent relationship, running away from that or running away from codependent behaviors. Okay. Running away from no longer being in a fear of intimacy, no longer listening to ego, more so listening to the heart. And that's what the dragonfly is. That's that change and that transformation coming to light. Somebody's coming to light. They're coming to their heart. 
um, making this change, healing, okay? And, and the finding out part feels more like realizing how they truly feel, okay? Um, and then we'll get in a little bit more to see who this person is, of course, for you. Um, actually, let me just change it up a little and see if I can get the... See if I can get the um, person's Chinese sign. See what they have to say about that. What does spirit want Virgo to know who this person, what their Chinese sign is? Okay, we've got a snake. They could be a pig, rooster, a rabbit, the ox, or the goat. Okay. So that's six, okay? So it could be you, it could be them, it could be both of you, okay? You may not even know this person, you may not meet them until June, okay? This could be the start of a love, a new love relationship, or of course it could be, you know, maybe somebody you're currently communicating with, or um, maybe you met somebody over the weekend. This could be your past as well, but we'll get into the reading and see. All right, who is this person? Tell Virgo. What's going on with this energy with this person? Okay, well, we've got karma. So there, that's definitely some kind of a reconciliation here. Um, seven of Wands. Okay. Hmm. So there's definitely um, a revelation happening. S uh, whoever this person is, and as far as... The cards go, this is judgment, and I'll call out, as I usually do, the major arcana. This is scorpionic energy, uh, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The karma card, something must have happened in 2020. Um, they're just telling me something happened in 2020. But this is like clarity. Um, somebody's coming to a decision here, having a real wake-up call about their life's purpose. And that seven of wands, of course, being very defensive energy. Um, I feel like this person here is taking a look at how um, they had this, their, these blockers up, okay? Or they have these blockers up, whether you know them or not. We're just, you make that call, but what it could be for somebody, like I said, it's reconciliation, so it could be somebody you already know. Um, this person is like opening up, they're realizing that they've been pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, which is self-sabotaging energy, okay? They may be someone who's very competitive, but I feel with judgment, they might also be very self-critical, uh, or they, they, they not only judge themselves very, very harshly but they judge others too um, or they can think very harshly about other people okay so let's get a little more and see what's going on with this person I feel like also oh they just said hmm <clears throat> this person okay hold on a minute now oh wow okay <laughs> this is crazy so this person, so you've got, we've got six wands here, okay? They're holding one of them. The other six are there, which is a message of recognition, victory, award. This person had an ego, and um, they're pushing back on their ego. That's what I was seeing here. No longer listening to ego. This is a wake-up call. We've got Pisces energy here with the hangman. Seeing things very differently, having a new perspective, Okay, the, the wands are fire and passion and, you know, physical, okay, physical. So seeing things differently, this person may have thought at some or, or, or is coming to terms or realizing that they're not actually stuck. The only reason that they've had a stagnant energy or they were stuck is because if they're, they kept making themselves stuck. You know, it wasn't external. They were the ones who, who were fighting back. They may all have also had other people who were, um, oh, it feels like they may have had other people who were clawing at them all the time, ex people who are external to them. Um, and they were, they push back on people a lot. They do a lot of that pushback, okay? Um, a lot of that pushback. Now, they might have been doing that because... It seems like if this is somebody, 
Either they were doing that because they were waiting for the right one or because you are the right one for them. Okay. Wow. The sun. Look at all this major arcana. So th this is Leo energy. Um, <laughs> this is exposure, joy, and success. Um, this, this person is seeing the light. They're seeing things in a whole different, from a whole different viewpoint, which is the hanged man. This person, so like I said, so far we've got Leo, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, now, if that's not, like if you don't know who this person is, it doesn't mean, it, it could be that sign, but it doesn't have to be. But the energy is very strong. So it feels like this person is, um, it's interesting too, I just noticed. This is definitely this person seeing the light about you. And the reason I say that is because um, there, there's a pentacle right there. And that, that crow, oh, I'm just hearing, I'm just, I just saw an image in my mind. They just showed me um, Brandon Lee from The Crow. <laughs> I don't know if you like that movie or if you remember it or if somebody likes that movie, but it feels like this crow is pecking away. Um, They were just saying, like, pecking away at this wood, chopping at the wood. To th It's almost as if um, this person is, this crow is going to try to release this person from, it's an outer influence trying to release this person from this stuck energy that they've, they've been in, they've been stuck, but they're trying to see their way out of it, out of this situation. Okay, so this, and with the head tilt, it's like inquisitive. It's like, maybe this isn't what I thought. Maybe this isn't as bad as I, as I thought. This uh, defensive energy, maybe I was self-sabotaging. Maybe I was pushing Virgo away because there was competition or because I, I felt like I was going to be overtaken with emotions or... Um, so, or Virgo was going to tell me how to live my life or suffocate me. That's such a weird... This person, I don't know who they are. It, it, like I said, it could be some of you know, but this, this person's like... Blaming other people for why they couldn't do something because they had an inability really to just choose or just say no or just say yes. Just very indirect kind of stuff so I feel like this person is seeing that from a especially with yes this person they just said to me because the sun is a yes card so yeah they're just saying here this person is now seeing I'm hearing they should have said yes spirit saying this person should have said yes to something and now they're seeing pushing back they're having a wake-up call here pushing back was a bad idea just a bad idea okay it served no purpose it was protective mode with the seven of wands maybe this person felt like they had to compete for your attention and they didn't want to or they didn't feel they were good enough to win your heart <laughs> Look, Ten of Cups. There you go. Okay? It feels to me like this is what this person wants. Okay? Now, even if you don't know this person, all right? Because we did see the pentacle. But even if you don't know this person, um, this could be just the energy of this person when you meet them or when you talk to them if this is somebody new or if somebody you're currently... I don't feel like this is somebody brand new coming into your life in June. This is either someone you're currently talking to or you know, or someone who's trying to come in and reopen, is having a wake-up call and wants to reopen communication with you again. Um, whatever the situation, if there was nothing that was happening in the relationship or something wasn't going forward, this person I feel like is coming to terms with, they were running away. They were pushing, either they were pushing back or they were running away. Either way, they weren't, it, it was a protect, it's a form of protection. They were trying to protect themselves, okay? Trying to protect, from fear, fear of intimacy, okay? 
okay? Um, and they may tell you that when you talk to them, um, or they may just confide in you because that's what karma is. You know, that's an opening up energy. So they may confide in you and tell you, you know, they were scared or they had a fear of intimacy. Um, but there's change. And this person with the Ten of Cups, it just feels to me like this is like I am ready. I'm waking up here to love, to having this absolute joy family contentment you know that love and support uh, this is like the best of the cups you can get here because this is like complete that that complete I'm hearing you complete me <laughs> oh Jerry you complete me you're the person you're the one that I want to have this family with you're the one that I want to commit to or settle down with or create cultivate a loving happy joyful experience for the rest of my life it's i mean not to be cliche but spirits like just tell virgo ten of cups is a happily ever after okay happily ever after all right this is this is beautiful it seems to me virgo like the month of june is going to be glorious for you it's just going to be glorious for you so um now, for some of you, you could meet someone where it's not like a date. They're just telling me um, where you could meet somebody like if you're out and you start talking, like if you're I don't know where you could be. You just maybe they're at, you're at the bus stop. Some of you might meet somebody at a bus stop or in a store. Um, you just chit chat and then you somehow feel a spark um, and there's something where there's an exchange of numbers and then there's communication that starts happening if you don't know who they are and this person tells you oh i had a wake-up call I, I you know i i i i ruined my last relationship i ran away from that person i really did care for them and i had such fear and it's over and it's been over for years and you know i haven't been really out seeking and all of a sudden cupid's arrow strikes and here we are standing in the freezer aisle looking at the chicken nuggies <laughs> and amazing amazing energy a spark happens and and they and at some point later this person be, opens up to you and tells you you know this is i don't i don't want to run anymore uh, i'm i'm scared yeah i'm scared but at the same time you know with great love does come great risk and the alternative is to never take that risk and then to never have love or never be in a position to cultivate um, a beautiful relationship with someone so um, love is always a risk if you ever feel like you're shaking at your knees then you're in the right place okay if you're not shaking if you're not talking too much if you're if you're too calm and you're too relaxed then you're just playing it cool and uh, anybody can see through that but if you're like nervous nelly or whomever um if you're shaking at the knees you're nervous and your hands are twitching and your eyelids twitching and and you're bumping into things you're trying to talk and you're fumbling and you're you then that's something's going on okay and that's what i feel like you know this energy i don't know why i'm picking that up but that energy is playing out for me here um i think because somebody here feeling that way was like a loss of self-control and it feels like whoever this person is they they don't they like to come across they push back with that seven of wands um tough girl tough guy um they like to come across like they're they're totally cool um like joe cool and there's like they got it all together and they're not going to be frazzled but you know let me tell you something i don't care what pe how cool unless you're skilled in poker face um, because that's something you have to learn. Um, the, the alternative is you're born that way, you're probably a psychopath, but it, it always shows in people's movements and their facial expressions, um, or even if they're sweating. I mean, it's just, awkwardness is a good thing. If you meet someone who's like completely awkward, that means they're like <laughs> pretty interested. Even if they're super, super, super quiet, they're not saying anything. Uh, that's like freeze. It's, 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 it's flight or freeze okay responses you want to look for <laughs> blushing <laughs> all right let's keep going let's keep going okay so okay oh huh. okay virgo some of you are in hiding hermit energy page of swords somebody's looking for you 
somebody's spying or trying to spy on you or trying to find you seeking you out very curious about because to this person you're quiet whether you're talking to them you're very reserved you're definitely this person's their energy towards you is your and you're like in hermit thinking mode you're not revealing a lot anywhere wherever you are whatever you're doing you're not revealing much okay and you're really deep in your feels right now or this is our first court card it could be another virgo it could also be cancer as well because we already have scorpio and pisces um you could be deep in your feels or this person is really feeling um or will be really feeling oh they just said um oh okay so they're saying um this person's trying to find out if you're thinking about them or uh if you're talking to them they're gonna kind of be scanning your face or scanning you um because the king of cups emotions the king of cups does not wear the emotions on the sleeve male or female energy is generally the deepest deepest hidden this person would be very curious you're you're in hermit mode with your feelings don't, don't you're i don't know what you're doing you must be you must have mastered the poker face especially if this is someone from your past coming back this person is going to try to slice through that if you've if you've just gray rocked somebody they're going to try and you know um take that sword and you know cut open that cake and see what's inside there right what's the ingredients they want to know but they're also curious to know if if they're on your mind and they want to find that out try to get a glimpse or try to find somehow some way even just through communication if especially if this is somebody new even just through or not new but it could be but not in a romantic setting you know what i mean like it's just a happen chance that you might meet somebody but talking to them they're going to want to know like how you're feeling you're probably virgo i feel like they view you or will view you as coming across as very dry and reserved okay yeah this is definitely like two people coming together meeting of the minds for sure but also this person seeking to see if um you have the same feelings as they do um hmm this person wants to have some kind of meet up with you okay yeah they want to connect with you they want to find out um if you're interested this person like for a lot of you i feel like this could be so when I say the past person, it doesn't necessarily have to be that last shit stain that you got rid of. <laughs> it could be someone way before that, all right? So just keep that in mind. I know a lot of you are, like, you've got your guard up when it comes, when I talk about past readings, past people, you know, a lot of you just jump the gun and say, oh, it's it's the past ex or the narcissist or whatever. I don't want that person back. It may not be them. And that's why these readings are for moving forward. So you kind of have to wait and see how things play out. It could be somebody before that. Okay. Um, or, or it could be somebody from your childhood. Somebody that you knew when you were you know kids with the family and stuff oh my gosh you have the hierophant here so taurus energy um so this is definitely somebody's looking for commitment here they want to do they want to go by the book follow the rules do it by the book i want to see you okay um no wait i just want to ask i mean cuba's arrow is here so this whole thing doesn't mean it doesn't look super super romantic like i don't see anybody trying to sweep you off your feet here um i just see looking to see if something can get off the ground and get to the point where it needed to get you know at the ten of cups i feel like the emotions somehow are already established okay Okay. Well, you have the nine of wands, <laughs> Virgo, and the four of pentacles. You're like, nope, I don't want a relationship. Nope, I'm done. Out. Goodbye. 
I'm not ready for something new. <laughs> I'm not ready for something old. Virgo, you are really blocked here. Okay. You're over you're very overprotective of yourself of of what's yours um but it, it doesn't feel like you're just guarding your heart like in a healthy way it feels like you are overprotecting like you not only have your heart chained up you also have 20 padlocks on it okay encased in lead and you've thrown away the key and and, and anybody that tries to come in you're you're not even going to give them instructions of anything. You're going to give them like clues and that's it. <laughs> you're not giving anybody the key. So you're overly guarded. Okay. Now that could just be that you were in something that left you devastated and you're still healing. And you know what? It's up to you. You got to make that call. If you're not done healing, I mean, how long is your healing? All right. Do you have a you have a time period how long i mean how long are you going to put in your healing work i mean healing definitely should always be for the rest of your life you know like in other words just having spiritual strength but healing the heart i mean if you stay enclosed in a dark room for the rest of your life because of trauma of some sort then you're not taking that risk like I said earlier, love and risk go hand in hand. So you do have a choice. You know, you can open, you can put a crack in the door. All right. Um, but please note, and I have to bring this back all the time. If this is someone who is damaging and very toxic, nobody here in this chat is telling you to open or crack the door open for someone who's abusive. Nobody here says that, okay? So if you're in the chat and you're like, I'm not opening it for that, well, um, we're not talking to you, right? We're talking about somebody you can meet in the frozen foods aisle, or we might be talking about somebody else, because nothing here is showing me um, that type of energy, that very dark negative energy, okay? Now, is it possible that it is that person and they've since healed and they've had a wake-up call? Sure, anything's possible, but... If you're going to crack that door open, then, you know, you, Virgo, have to bloody stumps. Okay, you got to, you got to, you know, see if this person has taken this time to really work on themselves as you have. Okay. All right. That, that was just a disclaimer because I feel like I always need to say that. And I don't know why I need to say that. Okay. Six of Wands. Now here's the Six of Wands. Okay. So... Virgo, I feel like you're in this position where, well, I'm I'm in victory mode because I'm safe. Um, I'm winning because I'm safe. And for some of you, that is the case. You feel like you're on top of the world because you pushed somebody away. You blocked, your door's locked, you locked up your heart. And, and you're feeling like on top of the world. You got your victories, you got your, your accolades, you got your recognition. All that's coming through. But the one thing that's missing here is you don't have love. And that's the highest victory of all okay um so i don't i'm not saying this to judge right i definitely see that the reason you're doing all this is to have emotional balance i definitely feel like you're on the right path um but i think when the time comes you know i always say if you've got really deep-seated trauma, tarot readings are not for you. If you've got deep-seated trauma, you do need to go work with someone like a specialist to help you work through those things, okay? But if you've got like just a breakup that happened and it's, it was just sad that it didn't work out, that kind of thing, then yeah, a little bit of time to heal shouldn't take you forever and ever and ever. Um, but of course, it also depends on the length. I mean, some people are married for like 10 years and they give themselves like a good three years and then they, but they put in the work. I mean, I'm not judging how long it should take you to heal. Everybody's different. But I feel like if you really, if you really fast track your, you can fast track your healing if you really seek out the appropriate sources. Like tarot is good for that, but so is getting um, supplemental spiritual work or working with a counselor or you know doing some journaling or working through self-help workbooks and stuff like that you know so seeking seeking balance and moderation and temperament 
or temp yeah a, a good disposition and temperament in your life going forward is good and it's sometimes really easy to attain when you're by yourself it's when you're with another person that there might be a fear that um, all that's going to come undone but that's your opportunity to test yourself kind of and see if all the work you've been putting in if you still get triggered and if you do are you able to say to yourself you know what this is a completely different person and if I'm feeling like I'm being triggered let me take a look at what's going on here right why am I being triggered is it something does somebody say something and it reminds me of my past person says something or is this my past person and they say something but I'm trauma I'm like PTSD from it and I don't know and that's why you can go slow okay you can definitely go slow and, uh, and that's Sagittarius energy there okay yeah so you can weigh your options here nobody like if somebody's coming in holding your gun to gun to your head and saying we have to be together then that's a different issue but you you can choose okay you can weigh your options you can take your time okay whether it's somebody new coming in or you know a past person returning whatever the case might be um but it's definitely i feel this energy happening okay for you in june i don't i feel like you're gonna have um some kind of test of some sort you know to see you know healing is easy on your own but the human co human conscience consciousness we need people we need to have others in our lives to some degree because uh, living alone for the rest of your life with nobody you know it, it's hard but we have to have other people we just do that's what we're built for connecting that's why we have touch taste smell we're not touching and tasting or, or unless that's what you're doing the rest of your life T touching tasting yourself smelling yourself we need to that's why we have these senses they, they weren't really just for us for other people i hope that's making sense um, okay, we've got deception here. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Now, Virgo, after what I just said, the message I'm getting here, this is about you. Okay, don't gaslight yourself. <clears throat> gaslight basically means don't kid yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Be straight up honest. Talk to yourself. Have that dialogue. Have that relationship with yourself. It's not just about loving yourself right it's about talking to yourself becoming your own best friend and you know when you're feeling a particular way saying to yourself hey what's this feeling that's coming up right now right De deception or lying to yourself is feeling something and ignoring your feelings okay and that's what i was seeing about this person awakening here they had a fear of intimacy and i feel like this person whoever they are, new, old, whichever, is sitting down with themselves and saying, why did I keep running from my relationships? Why did I keep running from the feelings? Because they were self-sabotaging. So I feel, it's not just you now that I'm saying that they're saying, it's also the other person. They could have been you and another person, either together in the past or with other people, where you were both wearing self uh, false masks in your relationship and usually when people wear false self mask it's a form of protecting the self okay um, it's a protection thing okay it's protection from vulnerability okay or it's a protection from a fear of a fear it's a fear of being vulnerable and then a fear of abandonment or a fear of you know somebody leaving so healing family issues so somebody might have like ptsd from family stuff okay love life begins as you forgive your parents so that's a very beautiful energy and then playfulness recapturing romance by allowing your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so i feel like this is a message overall of you know you guys kind of like thinking back to when you were children whether together if you knew this person then or by yourself or who you were as a child that freedom that innocence that playfulness that giggling that laughing um and getting 
yourself back into that position this person as well and then two people coming together and the playfulness of, of relationships is what keeps them going really i mean there's other factors but when two people are taking life lightly and accepting one another and laughing and enjoying each other i really feel like that puts so much quality into a relationship you know where two people are just enjoying being together Right? I've seen that um, my brother is married and he recently got married. And the one thing I can tell you about the two of them is that they make jokes to each other constantly. And they have this relationship where they make each other laugh. And it's not fake laughs. You can see it. Their eyes crinkle when they laugh. They have these big, broad smiles. I mean, these two legit make each other laugh. And it's the fun. They're like a comedy team together. And they make other people laugh with their comedy. They're not comedians. It's just that they have this kind of light. And, and I've never talked about my brother on here. So I don't think he watches my channel. So I'm not worried about it. But I, I've never seen such an amazing... Um, interaction between two people they're like best friends you know they're like best friends all right I'm just gonna leave that there okay because I feel like this person is wanting that and I feel like in a lot of ways you are too but you're also a Virgo and you're analytical and, and you're not typically one to wear your heart on your sleeve and you're showing that here to somebody in the month of June but I think it's coming down to should I let somebody back into my life if I just meet them standing in the produce aisle? Or if I know this past person, there's a decision you're going to be making here, whether you should open up to this person again or not. And I'm certainly not telling you yes, and I'm not telling you no. I think let the reading speak for itself and you decide. Let me see what other messages there are here for you. Hitting rock bottom. Wow. Amazing. Committed love relationship. There you go. Two very strong messages here. So somebody here is like surrendering to a committed love relationship. That is point blank period. It's straight up. Somebody here wants to have that, that connection with you. Okay. Or, or is just looking for that in their life. And if they happen to meet you, you know, or you guys connect, reconnect. Um, this feels like um, a summer love. This feels like a summer of love. I know some of you are not in the summer season or into it yet, but this is what it feels like. Like I'm hearing somebody say, I'm ready for, I'm settling down. Somebody's settling down now into their life. No more craziness, no more wild, just running all the time and running from one relationship to another, to another, to another, to another. No more of that. All right, let's see what your moon messages are here. Okay, time for healing. Beautiful. Adjustments are being required. Yep, that's for you, Virgo. And expect powerful change. Interesting. Balsamic moon, third quarter moon, and new moon eclipse. When is the new moon eclipse? Do we have one in June? I don't know. Let's see. I know winter is beginning on June 1st. So for some of you, this is a winter love, you know, the, um, what do you call it? Cuffing season for some of you. Um, there's a new moon on June 29th. So I do feel like, uh, I don't know if it's any, it doesn't look like it's an eclipse. Um, but I will say between June 14th and the 29th, there's going to be some powerful change. Um, like the switch over. Okay. Um, I feel like leading up to this time period is going to be this gray area after the retrograde goes direct, there will be a gray area and there will be like this lead up to connecting with this person very slowly, very carefully. Um, but things are going to start taking flight and really it, it's like, You'll be taking flight in midair, and then you're going to land sometime at the end of the month, um, mid-month to the end, where it's going to be like, boom, this is happening, okay? Boom, this is happening, which is very, it, it seems actually kind of quick. <laughs> All right, 
so let me get a couple of other messages. I'm going to pull two different sets here. And I want you guys to know, um, I'm going to be doing a special reading on my Gumroad account you know, where I do my extended readings. I'm going to be doing um, a reading for Virgo, obviously, but I'm going to pair Virgo with each zodiac sign. Okay, so it'll be a reading you purchase for eleven dollars and eleven cents, and what it will be is um, if you are Virgo and you are dealing with, say, a Pisces, or if you're a Virgo and dealing with a Taurus, I'm going to go through each one of those signs and give you like a mini reading on each one of those. Okay, so I'll be letting you guys know, and I'll post the link, um, and I'll start posting that underneath my videos here not this one but the following uh, throughout this week all right so let's take a look i'm going to look and see if this is a past person how what their feelings or emotions are towards you and then other general love messages okay all right i look for you everywhere so this person has definitely been seeking you out or will be seeking you out after connecting with you or very curious um trying to find out more about you or um, find out where you are which I'm not really sure what that means okay um, but it's a past person so you may not be connected with them or haven't been and now they're looking for you um, it was my fault but I blamed you there you go that's what I said this person might have just or they're coming to terms with the fact that the reason why they couldn't make something go forward was because of them but they may have blamed you or said you were too needy or you were too on them too much or whatever but that was really just them that they ran away rather than just having a sit down conversation trying to work through things i couldn't let you get close to me that's why because i had a fear of intimacy i know that i crossed the line with you okay i'm not exactly oh um okay so this person is aware that yeah they they cross some kind of boundary or um cross they cross so they i don't know if it was offensive it was more of like defensive i feel like that's what the boundary was because of the seven of wands um for you that was like that's it you're not going to open your heart then you're crossing that's a line that you're crossing with me it's not offensive it's more defensive okay or they pushed in on you but then held back after they got with you and that was a line that was that was that could be offensive okay i wish i had treated you better there you go this person's got a lot of regret virgo for the way they treated you now let's take a look at the love messages for somebody new here okay abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now okay so this if this is the chicken aisle person <laughs> This person's coming in ready, 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 putting away the computer, working less will help strengthen the relationship. So this person, I feel like works on a computer a lot. They might be in IT tech or something or always on their computer, their computer, or maybe they're playing like games or video games um, interfered that it feels like there was a third party. Maybe they were talking, could have been social media, third party, dating apps in their past. If you don't know who they are, um, I feel like this person is logged off. That's what I'm hearing. They've logged off um, because it's it's gotten in the way. They might have turned into like an introvert. They just didn't try to be in relationships or whatever. They've logged off, and in doing so, uh, things start coming. So when you're logged in all the time, you're blocking your blessings. When you're logged in all the time, it's like I tell people in tarot readings, like every uh, every other week or so, somebody leaves a comment, okay, fine, but when am I meeting this new person? Where's my new person? And I'm like, look, you're coming to a tarot reading, and what, am, what do you think I'm going to do? Just create a, a human being for you here and pop it into your computer screen, your, your phone? And just send them your way. It, I'm not in charge of that. I don't have that kind of power. So if you're constantly watching the tower readings, but you're not getting out there, you're just not living your life. You're not going to meet anybody if you're logged in all the time. You got to take a break. You put away the phone, put away the computer, get out there and live your life and see what happens. 
see what happens. You know, these are just messages. Some are predictive. Some are just guidance for you. But this person understands that, and they are logging off. And here comes the abundance. Okay. Addiction. And addiction is affecting this relationship. So it's funny because I was saying this person, third party, could have been an addiction. They could have had an addiction, a computer addiction. Oh, the 100%. <laughs> or a video game addiction or they were just always on their phone or just you know addicted to that okay so uh, this person and i think that's amazing I, th I feel like if you can meet somebody virgo who has no social media is not connected to you know that meta world or anything like that or even involved in any of that on a social aspect Unless it's strictly for work, they just do it for work, but their real life is spent out there in the sun and, and actually involving themselves in community and people. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, okay, this person, soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, respects you in addition. So this person is definitely coming in as a soulmate for sure and definitely looking for a soulmate or, um, well, yeah, for the... This is somebody new, I think I said. Yeah, so it's a soulmate connection. Two of Cups was in there, and that's a soulmate connection. And a decision gets made. It's time to decide about this relationship. So this person is ready. They're coming in ready, okay? And and the past, you know, the reconciling with someone from the past is as well. I don't feel like they're both coming in. These are not the past and the present and the new or whatever is not coming in at the same time. This is one or the other. Okay, so you just got to get out there and live your life. I just really feel like it's separate messages, honestly. So I think you really would benefit um, for yourself to just go live your best life as much as you can, right? Because I do feel like one one's not the the one you're meeting in this in the grocery store is not in love with you, Virgo. They don't even know you. Um, but the one from the past is definitely coming in ready. All right, let's see. Got some charms here. All right, so uh, we've got Cupid. We've got an angel, actually, an angel with angel wings. It's a cherub. That's Cupid. So Cupid's arrow is definitely, and there's a unicorn, like I was saying earlier. A very unique situation is coming to you. We also have um, a bird on a perch. So there's definitely some kind of messages. Could be a canary. Um, somebody's coming in to test the waters to see if something here is going to work. Oh, and you've got the love heart amazing and okay you've got a kitty cat here so it could be a leo for some of you um this person might have a cat maybe you have a cat um maybe you have like little cherubs statues somewhere or cherubs somewhere around you um you might have a parakeet um and somebody might have uh, it just feels like a canary you know like this the canary will go into the coal mine to test if the canary didn't come back out that means that there was toxic gas in the coal mine and then the workers couldn't go in but if the canary came back out then all was safe okay so th this is very much symbolic um testing there's a testing energy here tiptoeing tiptoeing in the water to see if um it's either you or somebody else or not the other person just kind of like all right i'm gonna throw this canary out and we we're gonna see if this is if it's safe to go forward now and if it's not just quite ready then you know then we just we gotta wait okay doesn't mean it won't move forward but it's it's going slow it's taking your time to test the waters before going in right so i love this message i really do i think this is a beautiful message and um keep your eye out for that um special virgo and their other person reading that will be uploaded on my gumroad account okay if you don't know what that is just go underneath the video here there's a link to all of my extended readings and then you'll be able to see how that works if you're curious all right but when i do do that i will let you know and i i'm not sure i think i'm what i'm going to do i'm not sure if i'm going to do 12 individual ones like virgo with the other zodiac or if i'm going to just do it all in one um, i don't know that you guys would want to purchase an all-in-one um, because there might not be timestamps, and then you might have to listen to Virgo with a sign that you're not even dealing with. Um, 
we'll see how it goes okay i'll let you guys know but anyway thanks for being in the chat i'm so happy to see you all again here and yeah i will see you guys tomorrow have a fantastic night and a fantastic day all right love you guys bye